Hello guys, Mom Jackie once again and in this video we will tackle about the Law of Reflection and Snell's Law. The Law of Reflection states that when a light beam or the incident ray strikes a surface, it will reflect off the surface at the same angle that it hit it. That is, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. The angle at which a light beam strikes a surface is known as the angle of incidence. And the angle at which the beam of light bounces off the surface is known as the angle of reflection. The angles are measured relative to the perpendicular to the surface from the point where the ray strikes the surface. Refraction, on the other hand, is the bending of light wave as it passes across the boundary separating two media. Refraction is caused by the change in speed experienced by a wave when it changes medium. The law of refraction is generally known as Snell's law. It governs the behavior of light rays as they propagate across a sharp interface between two different kinds of media. The equation of the Snell's law is N1 multiplied by sine theta 1 equals N2 multiplied by sine theta 2, where N1 and N2 are the refractive indices of the two materials respectively, while theta 1 and theta 2 are the angle of incident and angle of refraction respectively. As light beam travels through the interface of two media, it encounters refraction. The index of refraction, denoted by small letter n, is defined as the speed of light in vacuum divided by the speed of light in the medium. That is, n equals c over v. c is the speed of light in vacuum which has a value of 3 times 10 raised to 8 meters per second. And v is the speed of light in the medium. To achieve total internal reflection, incident ray must not enter to the second medium and critical angle must be determined. The critical angle is the incident angle that will give us the maximum refractive angle which is 90 degrees. And sine of 90 is equal to 1. Therefore, the critical angle is simplified as the inverse sine of N2 over N1. If N1 is greater than N2 and incident angle is less than the critical angle, total internal reflection is not observed. If incident angle is greater than the critical angle, total internal reflection is observed. To apply the formula, let's have this sample problem. A light ray is incident through glass with a refractive index of 1.52 on an interface separating glass and water with refractive index of 1.33. What is the angle of refraction if the angle of incidence of the light ray in glass is 25 degrees? And solve for the critical angle so that total internal reflection is observed. From Snell's law, Let's plug in the values. Then, we divide both sides by 1.33 so we can solve for sine theta r using our calculator. So, the value for sine theta r is equal to 0 0.483. To solve for the value of the refractive angle, let us get the inverse sine of 0 0.483. And from our calculator, the refractive angle is equal to 28.88 degrees. To solve for the critical angle, we may use the derived equation of the total internal reflection, which is theta c is equal to inverse sine of n2 over n1. So, plugging in the values,
we arrived at a critical angle equal to 61.04 degrees. This means that the total internal reflection will occur at an angle of incidence greater than or equal to 61.04 degrees.